Hey, what's going on YouTube? Today I'm going to show you how to geotag a photo. Uh, geotagging is adding latitude, longitude coordinates to your photo so that it tells Google where that photo was taken. Uh, it's a really helpful measure to take when you're trying to SEO a website. It just adds local relevancy to the site and to that particular page. Uh, this is done when you take a picture on your iPhone. Uh, you can see where that picture is taken. That's geotagging, but right now we're going to do it on a computer um, with just random images because you can. Um, so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to rank a particular page for the term Temecula. Uh, well, there's more to it than that, but Temecula is in the... Temecula is the area I'm trying to rank in. All right, so what I'll do is first got to find the picture, and I'm going to use this one. This is Old Town Temecula. So I'm going to save that. Save it there. And then I'm going to go to this website called GeoImager. And this is the easiest way that I've seen how to do it. Um, all you do is drop the photo in here. Go down. All right. So the photo's there. And. See if I can, there we go. All right, so as you can see, the photo shows up here in the lower left. Now what we want to do is we want to make sure we're using uh, roughly the, the same coordinates uh, for where this photo was taken, right? So this is the picture of Old Town. As I said, this is Old Town Front Street. I happen to know because I've been to this area that this is around the, the correct coordinate where this photo was taken. Now, it doesn't have to be that exact, but since I know it, I may as well make it exact. So what I'll do is I'll just click this area, and I already did. And you can see these coordinates showed up, right? The latitude, longitude. So I'll go down here, and I will, oops, let's go right there. All right. So I have my geotag here. It's showing up here with these coordinates, right? from the point I dropped. So all I do is I click on right exif tags. Okay, and there it shows up there. And I hit download. Okay. Um, then I go here. Da, 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 da. And I go to here, 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 here. Right. Replace, okay. So now I have the file, and now I'm going to drop it in on my website. Um, taking the steps towards local domination. <clears throat> so <clears throat> I think I'm just going to put it at the bottom here, underneath this text. I'm using Thrive Architect for my website builder. So I just drag and drop the image, uh, the image element, and then I go in and I choose the image. And here's the image. Now, if you want proof that it has the geotag we just applied, you're going to right click the image and then click properties like I just did come up with this little window I'm gonna click on details uh, scroll down and it's gonna be here those are the coordinates we just entered through the geotagging website I showed you so this is geotagged so we're gonna hit OK and we're gonna hit open and uh, I'll just add an alt tag. Why not? Why not add some alt text? Uh, all right. And insert into post and voila. So picture is in my post now. And um, it is geotagged. So I'll save it. And we are good to go. Um, so I've heard mixed things about geotags. I've heard a lot of people say it's, they're not a huge deal for SEO, but in my experience, I, I think they are important if you're doing local SEO. If you're doing national SEO or any other kind, it, it's not a very big deal, but if you're trying to optimize a local page uh, for a certain city, then, um, then why not? I mean, it's so easy to do, and I just showed you how to do it. It took me five minutes. So anyway, have fun with that. And I will see you in the next video.